Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today's video is going to be a tutorial, tutorial <laughs> on how to put together this cute little Easter basket die. A new release for March from Scrap Diva Designs. Look how cutie patootie that is. So cute and very easy to put together. But I thought we could go through it together. Um, I'm going to try and do more tutorials for you guys. I know some people have asked for more. and <clears throat> I don't know why <laughs> I don't do very many tutorials. So, But I'm going to try and do more for you guys. Okay, so this is just put together very simply. And I just have some trim around the edge. This is some trim in my stash that I've had forever. Um, it just, you know, it matched the blue. I'm using the Maggie Holmes um, Parasol Collection for this basket. And then this other die also is from Scrap Diva. It's in the new release. Also, it is the bunny bow. So cute. Okay. So this is a good size. <clears throat> Let me show you how big it is. Let's see. So across, it is about yeah, about five and a half inches across and it's you know like an octagon so it's about the same all the way around okay so very cute so let's put this together together all right so again it is called the 3d easter basket what you're going to get in the die set you're going to get two of these one's a tad bit bigger than the other okay the one you're so you're going to cut out one of each of these one is going to be for the base that you're going to attach all your sides to and then the other one that's a little bit smaller you're going to put inside here um, to kind of you know line it and you know cover up the little pieces that you've added on okay so you're going to need one of each of these so i went ahead and cut out everything ahead of time so wouldn't take quite as long so hopefully I remember to do everything so here's my two pieces <clears throat> okay we're gonna need to cut one of these which is the handle which is the lacy piece of the handle and then this piece is the layering piece of the handle that's stitched so here's the lacy piece right here with the white and then the layering piece so I have cut one of each of those okay and then, nextly, you get two of these. Okay, these are the, um, these pieces here, the base piece, which is in white with a little scalloped, you know, type edge, okay? So you get two of them, you're gonna cut out six of these, okay? Six of them to make all your sides, okay? So I have cut those all out here, okay? And then you have two of these also. They're the same. Okay, they're stitched. And you're going to cut out six of these to layer up. This is the pink piece right here. Okay, now if you want to line it on the inside too, like I did, they're gonna, then you're going to cut 12 pieces. Okay, um, I decided to go ahead and, and line the inside too. Sometimes I don't do that. It just depends. But for this demonstration, I wanted to um, show you both. But you you know you don't have to cover up the insides if you don't want to but you know it's just very pretty if you do so it's kind of up to you okay so this one i cut six of so i did cut the layering pieces for the inside also so i got six of this one that i'm going to put on inside and i have six of this one that i'm going to put on the outside to make my basket um, this one's going to be more floral okay and then i did um do the bunny bow I um, put together two of these already that I attached, you know, on my edges that you see right here. Okay, really cute. So I didn't, you know, not doing a tutorial on this one, but it's, it's super simple to um, put together, but um, you can see how they look finished. Okay, so that is all the pieces you're going to need. I'm gonna put them aside. And then I'm just gonna start um, folding all of my pieces let me get my bone folder i have hanging right here 
this is a Teflon bone folder, so it doesn't make marks on your paper when you when you um, you know drag it across there. Um, they are quite pricey usually. Um, that's why I have this little. I had found this little mini one. That's kind of more for like on the go if you want. Um, I had found this at a um, like a scrapbook expo, and so I bought it because it was way cheaper than the big size one, and it's perfectly fine for me. Um, because I don't, you know, I just don't need a big one anyway. So, anyway. So let's just fold all these up. And hopefully, I'll stay in frame and stuff like that. Because, like I say, I don't do very many tutorials. I always forget to do stuff like that. But. Okay. Now, um, once we get these all folded, then we're going to start applying them to the base piece. Now, I'm not going to fast forward or, you know, speed this video up or anything. I just want to show you how it goes together step by step um, in real time so you can get, you know, a feel for it. And sometimes when I'm watching a tutorial, I want to, like, pause it catch up to wherever the tutorial's at and then um, and then restart it, you know, so that's why I decided to do it like this. Okay, now on my first one, since I was just putting it together for the first time, I put all my panels without the um, layering piece on because I want to make sure it all turned out good first before I wasted, you know, paper on the outside if it wasn't going to turn out right. Sometimes when you put stuff together the, for the first time, you know, when there aren't directions, um, sometimes you mess up. So anyway, I did put these on after both the inside and the outside. Um, so you could go ahead and just look, go ahead and line these up right now if you want to. Um, I'm not sure which way we should do it. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and just put these together without being lined first. Okay. All right. So I'm just going to take my, um, what I did was I attached all of them at the bottom first. Okay, so I'm going to take my glue thing. This is the um, My Sweet Petunia, the um, glue press, I think is what it's called. Um, I do like it. Um, I, I, I saw people get it, and it looked pretty handy. <laughs> I'm going all over the place. Um, and I wasn't sure if, you know, it was going to be something I really needed or not, but it is very handy. So, um... I would recommend it. It is a little on the pricier side, but I think it's totally worth it. Okay, so now I'm just gonna line these all up with the edge. See my fold right here? I'm gonna put them all right here with the edge. I'm gonna kind of fold it in. That kind of gives me, if I fold it down and over, it just makes it gives me the chance to make sure that it's all lined up correctly. Okay, and then I can just take my bone folder and just kind of give it a a press okay and then I'm just going to go around with each one of these so I'm going to make sure that the one I put next to it is going to have the plain side and it's going to so it will be able to attach to this little folded you know to this little piece right here when we're ready to okay so I'm just going to go ahead and attach all these at the bottom okay and you just what's nice about this is you don't have to uh, this glue press you don't have to um you know, sit and shake and squeeze and everything to get your um, glue down. You just, you squeeze it. It's a lot easier than trying to squeeze the bottle and shake it to get it to start on its way down. Okay, so I'm just attaching it here at the bottom. Okay, and I'm gonna fold it again. And like I say, bear with me, I don't do tutorials very often. I'm gonna try to get better at them. <laughs> So now I'm all lined up here. So if I fold it down, I can make sure that I'm not, you know, off so that my lines will all line up well. And I'm just going to just kind of go over that one. So see, everything's just being attached to the bottom first off. Okay, I'm just going to keep attaching these. I'm just lined up with the shape, same shape. And 
once I kind of get it there and make sure I have it all in place, then I'm going to kind of just fold it and make sure I'm still lined up, make sure it's all even so that my my basket comes together nice and good like it's supposed to. Just kind of burnish it in. <clears throat> now, I'm sure you can do this either way you want. You could, um, you could do it like I'm doing and attach all the bottoms. And I'm sure you could just as well attach the bottom and then the side of each one if you wanted to do that. Sure, it will work perfectly fine either way. This is just how I did the first one, so I'm going to go with it again, and it turned out all perfect. So I'm just going to stick with this this time. Oopsie. Hang on, you're not sticking down. Okay, let's get this all lined up again. Okay. Burnish again. Okay, let's put some more glue on. If you haven't, if you don't know much about this, see it just sits in this, so you just sit it there. <laughs> so it's held up for you all the time. And there's a little thing in here that kind of sticks at the end here where this goes. I wasn't in the first couple days I had it and I was using it. I didn't even put the lid on it and it didn't like dry up or anything. No, I'm not guaranteeing that it wouldn't, but it didn't for me like the first two days. And then I thought, well, maybe I should cover it up. And so I started, you know, putting the lid back on. But the first couple of days I did not, and it did not like dry out and clog up or anything. So it is kind of handy. that one and then let's just do this bottom one now this is um, the base that I'm using this white it is 110 pound cardstock I almost always use 110 pound cardstock on everything I make just because I want sturdiness and I don't want everything to I don't want anything to be all flimsy or you know anything so I I hardly even have well I have <laughs> actually I do have lots of lighter weight um, cardstock but I never use it it's usually in a drawer and that's where Rosalind goes to <laughs> get all the pieces she wants to make whatever she wants to make so I rarely use anything other than this so now here we are with all of these now again I could go ahead and um put all my lining pieces on the inside and the outside whatever you just you decide to do you could do it now again or you could still wait till we finish the rest of it being put together i said i'm going to go ahead and still just do it like i did it when i first made it okay so now we're going to go and start attaching all these side pieces so we're going to attach it here and attach it here and just go around and just glue these together and hold it in place for a minute to make sure they all, you know, stay good. Okay, so let's start doing that. Okay, and then I'm going to put it right up to the edge. And hold it kind of in place. And I'm going to put my fingers kind of run down this, the edge on the outside. And then I'm also kind of pressing down from the inside to get that to start staying in place. Now, um, a lot of times what I do too is I'll turn it down so I'm on the flat. I have it laying flat on the on my table surface so that I can just kind of burnish it in like that. Just kind of give it an extra, okay. Go to the next one. Sorry, I get a little wild with the glue sometimes. So all lined up nice and neat right there okay I'm kind of press it down from the outside I'm gonna lay it down again I don't know if you guys can see that or not inside there but I'm just gonna now that I laid it down I'm not sure if I'm on the right one or not but I'm gonna go ahead and just burnish both those that I've attached so far again 
Okay. Now I'm going to take the next one. It doesn't really matter which direction you go. It's all the same. Okay. Let's line this up top and bottom so we have an even. You know, we don't want to like push this like way up so that it's uneven. We want to get this so that it's nice and even with this so we have it all lined up and we get the the good shape that we want that the die is supposed to make, okay? So we have it kind of burnished there. Now let's go off from the inside again. And I'm just gonna, oh, and I, I pulled too hard. So let's put this back down. Okay. And I might be trying to go a little bit too fast on this. Probably did, because I just, so let me slow myself down and just kind of burnish this in so it gets a good press down. Okay. All right, again, with the glue on this little flap. Make sure it's stuck inside. And there we go, we're lining it up again. Burnish it from the outside just a little bit, start getting it to stick. Okay, flip it in on its edge there so I can Finish it from the inside, make sure I'm still all lined up. Yes, it's all nice and even. Okay, next one. Hopefully I'm staying in um, frame, guys. For you, so I apologize if I'm not. <laughs> And I am standing, also doing this. So, let's go on to the inside again. Press that down good again. Okay, and then we're now ready for our last one. And when you get this glue press, if you guys decide to get it, or if you've already got it, you know that you, it comes with the that the Nubo glue that comes in the thing. So it's the Nubo, I don't remember exactly what it's called, but it comes with that bottle, and then it comes with another bottle, another tip. And so you can put other kinds of glue in too. So once I use this up, I'm probably going to Either save this bottle, clean it out, and put it with my other um, Barely Arts, because I love Barely Arts. Um, or I might just go ahead and fill up the other, you know, the extra bottle and put it in there. So, because it comes with the extra bottle. So, two bottles plus that. Okay, so there is our basic frame. Okay. Now, next thing I'm going to do, and I didn't do this on the first one. I wasn't sure how I was going to attach it, but I'm going to go ahead and attach it to these um, to this so that some of our um, so if some of our lines might cover it up. I can't remember if I, how far down I attached it. I guess just past. I guess just inside here. It was just right up to the line anyway. So I guess it doesn't really matter. This isn't. You could like stick this down further so it would be covered up under. You know the the layering piece here, but I didn't do that. It's just like right to the top. So I kind of just eyeballed it and went right to the bottom of the scallop part. And then the outside, um, I just, that's kind of another reason why I put the bow bows right there, not only for decoration, but <clears throat> to give it more sturdiness so that the um, so those didn't come off. So I'm gonna attach this, I'm gonna go ahead and attach this, I guess, to uh, the inside, but let's go ahead and put our little layering piece on first. So I'm just going to put a little thin strip of glue, if I can keep it straight, and just attach this in the center right here. Make sure I got it lined up good. Okay, like that. Let's 
burnish that in also. Okay. Now I'm gonna attach it to. I'm gonna go ahead. And, I'm gonna go ahead and attach mine like I did this. Um, just you know, to two flat sides. I'm not gonna like try to go like into a corner or anything like that. I'm just gonna go right there to the one side. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and just put, let's see, let me, some of these I didn't get them all the way punched out. Just kind of poke at them here, a the little things. Okay, I'm just gonna put a little um, glue right here. And I'm gonna put a little bit up here too, and just kind of, I'm just kind of guessing the width. <laughs> okay, and I'm just gonna take this and I'm just gonna attach it, sorry, like right there. And I kind of tried on the other one too to kind of line up the holes a little bit. Okay, so I don't know if you can see, but it's just like barely down to the line where I'm, where my um, lining piece is gonna come up anyway. Okay, so I'm just gonna push that down for a minute, make sure I got it sticky so that when I go to attach it to the other side, it doesn't pull off. Okay, and then I'm gonna put some here on this other side again. And let's see, it's straight across, okay. So let's go like right here. Okay, and I'm just gonna, I forgot to kinda bend it, but that's okay. It's, Real quick. Okay, and we're just going to line this up again down to that kind of score line area there. And just kind of, I just kind of line up the holes. They don't line up exactly, but I just kind of eyeballed it to kind of line up some of the holes. But like I said, our little um, our little bow that we're going to attach will also be covering this area up. Plus, this is going to give it more sturdiness right here where the handles attach. Okay. Burnish that again. Okay, so there's our handle attached. Very easy. All right. I'm going to go ahead now and attach this little bit smaller one, the smaller hexagon here. And I'm going to just um, put some glue all over the back and just put it down inside. That's the lining piece. As you see in the bottom, you can see, you know, the little, um, you know, edges that we folded in. So, just to cover that up, we're going to put some glue on this, and then we're just going to stick it down in there. Okay, we'll cover that up. Okay, just kind of stick it down in there and line it up. I try to move it so that it's kind of even before I start pressing down so it looks pretty even and then I'm gonna put my put my bone folder in there and just kind of go around the edges and I'm just kind of down with my hand kind of go top and bottom. Okay, so now that's inside there so that it looks all nice and finished inside. Okay, now I'm going to take, I have six of these patterns that I'm going to attach to the outside. Now we're just going to, it's going to be a little bit smaller, so we're going to, obviously, for it to layer. Okay, so I, I'm going to try and get them lined up to where I have a little, you know, the same amount of, you know, border around and I don't want it to go up into the scallops, okay? <clears throat> and you can use whatever kind of adhesive you would like. <clears throat> um, but I do like the Barely Art and the Nuvo. I, I've been pleased with the Nuvo so far that came in this tool, so um, it is a nice glue also. It's the first time I've used the Nuvo glue. I have all kinds of, you know, Nuvo drops and glitters and that kind of stuff, but um, 
not the glue. So it's the first time I tried it and it works really well. But what I like about the liquid glue is you can move it around a little bit. I almost, when I first started scrapbooking and stuff like that, I only used like tape runners. And then, um, you know, I had the big pink tape runner and that kind of stuff. <clears throat> and then I, and then when I started doing, um, 3D projects, I would use, um, you know, like the score tape and, um, which works great, sticks great, but sometimes you don't get it lined up the first time and then it's hard to get off your project without ruining the whole thing. So I really love, um, liquid glue now. And these liquid glues that I'm using now are so much better. Like I used to have some liquid glue and I'd try it and like it made, you know, like this, you could see it underneath the, um, underneath your, you know, your, your mats and stuff that, you know, cause I was, when I, I first started out doing scrapbooking. So you could see it under the mats and different stuff and you could feel it. It's like, eh, that does not look good. <laughs> so, but it didn't come. I don't remember back when I first started, I don't remember having these fine tips. And that's, I'm sure why it was so, you know, kind of bulky like that. And sometimes it would like rip the paper and stuff too, because of, you know, how much like came out at a time. So, but this is so nice. And like I say, you put it down and you have a little bit of time to wiggle it around and make sure you got it lined up right before you start pressing it down. So I'm just kind of trying to line up these, you know, to make sure that I'm, make sure I have the same amount around all the edges and then make sure that I have my, you know, all around each one, each panel lined up with the, with the top. So it kind of, you know, so it all looks good. So we just keep doing this going around. So it is a very easy assembly. Sometimes my hands and fingers aren't as steady as I like anymore either, so that can come into play as you're doing some more precision work, <laughs> especially if you just got done drinking coffee or something like that. <laughs> okay, and then I think we got one more of the outside panel. down even with that it was kind of up higher there at first so it's kind of why I don't start pressing down until I kind of make sure I got it all lined up the right direction and the right you know spacing around okay so there is our whole outside bar basket created look how cute okay now so now you come to the option whether do I want to line the inside or not you do not have to but it just gives it more of a finished look. So I'm going to go ahead and finish mine inside, especially since I already cut the pieces. I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I'm just gonna place some, let's see, make sure I'm in frame. So make sure I put it down there and it seems it's gonna kind of cover some of the flaps that we attached to make our basket. Okay, I'm just going to kind of go like that. Again, just kind of 
put it down and kind of press in there. Okay, next one. Next to it, and again, I'm just going to try and get it lined up the best we can and cover up some of the flaps so they don't show too much. There we go, got that one lined up again. Reach in there and just kind of push down gently so you don't, don't do it too heavy because then you might move it, you know, with if you lose if you use elect um, liquid glue. Here's the next one. Put it down in there. And that looks pretty good, pretty lined up. Yep. Okay. My hand in there and and you can use your bone folder or you know whatever or just use your fingers, whatever you want to do. Two there, yep. Okay, here's the next one. Okay, so that's lining that up there. lined up with the other one beside it. Good. Okay. And then now we have our last one for the inside. right there. Just a little bit. Okay. All right, there is our basket lined on the inside also. Look how pretty. Now, I could also have cut this out of pattern paper in there too. Or I could cut it again and layer up the, the, the pattern paper on the inside. I want to also so there's that option too if you want to I could also cut the bigger piece on the outside and layer this up too with pattern paper if you wanted to okay now we are ready to add our cute little bunny bows so let's just go right across here where the strap is put a little glue on there and I'm just going to take this and line it up with the bottom Kind of put this strip in the middle between my two um, ears right there to make sure I have that lined up right. Just kind of press it down. Oopsie. Tried to move it too soon. Press it down from the back. Look how darling. Isn't that cute? Okay, let's do the other side. I'm just gluing this whole area, the, the whole width of the um, of the handle, because you know my my bow is wider than that, and then I'm just lining it up with the you know that pattern piece in the center of my two ears, so it makes sure that it's centered. And just kind of press it 
from inside and outside. And look at our goat. Cutie patootie. Look how cute that is. So you could, of course, decorate all you want. You could, you know, tie some ribbon on top. I mean, this is just barely put together. So all I did on this one was, you know, use some of this um, ribbon trim that I had in my stash. And I just went around. I started at one spot and I just put a thing of hot glue. And then I just like hot glued one um, of the, each flower right in place so that um, it would stay in place and not like slide down or up or whatever. So that's just what I did. Just went around. And then... Um, the way it lined up, it kind of overlapped just a tad, but um, when I decorate it more, I'm going to make sure that I cover, you know, that up where there's the two flowers that are kind of partway overlapping each other. So, anyway, that is that. So, here are my two pretty baskets, and you can decorate them up all you want and fill them with lots of goodies. So fun. So, so fun. Do a teacher gift with a little basket. You know, do treats for a, an Easter get-together. I mean, you could even put a few eggs in here. This would hold a lot, quite a bit of, you know, like little plastic plastic eggs and stuff. So you could make a little cute little table decoration out of this for your Easter table. Or just a spring decoration. So fun. Okay, if you have any questions, leave them down below. Um, I will make sure that I link Erica's shop. Be sure if you decide to pick up any of the dyes that you use my code POLKA10, P-O-L-K-A-10, um, and that will give you um, a discount at checkout. I'll have my affiliate link down below for um, <clears throat> the shop also. If you decide to use that affiliate link, it gives me a little bit of the sale, but it doesn't cost you any more. I really appreciate those of you who do that at it is super helpful so thank you so much for those of you that have done that in the past okay um i will have all the um links now this is probably i'm going to probably put this up before the um release is out before it's live um but i and i also have an unboxing video now what i always do on my unboxing videos is go ahead and put the videos up before the thing before the sale comes live because that way you can be looking to see what you think you might want um, but of course I don't have the links at that point because they don't go on until, you know, midnight on the day of the release. So I usually do the unboxing, show you guys all the different things. And then I, um, and I have the names of them. And then, um, right before midnight on the release night, I come back and add in all the links for you guys. So it makes it real easy for you guys to, to find. So anyway, I will go back on and edit the video, add the links into it. So you guys know. Okay. Thank you so, so much for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this. Like I said, if you have any questions for me, just leave it down below. And let me know, did you like this tutorial? What do I need to do better to make it better for you? Um, uh, you know, any anything like that. Um, yeah. Thank you so, so much for watching, everybody. And I'll talk to you on the next one. Bye.